call the meeting of the regularly scheduled meeting of the East Chicago Board of Public Works and Safety to order. Roll call. Charles Pacura. Here. Jezro Rodriguez. Here. Joseph Allegretti. We have the minutes of the regular meeting of November the 10th. I will make a motion that we accept without reading. Second. Roll call. Charles Pacura. Yes. Jezro Rodriguez. Yes. Under your claim warrant 112410BW. Eleven twenty five ten BW. I move that we accept them. Second. Roll call. Charles Pacro? Yes. Jezra Rodriguez. Yes. Six ten to eleven nineteen ten. And a motion to accept. Second. Roll call. Charles Pacura? Yes. Jasper Rodriguez. Yes. Change order number four, Columbus Drive Beautification. Mr. Rodriguez. something you're familiar with? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't um, see you sitting there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I saw you sitting there. I didn't know who you were. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Philip Jones with American Structure Point, here to present change order number four for uh, NDOT contract SR32939 Columbus Drive Beautification Project. This uh, change order is per the request of the City of East Chicago. As part of this contract, the contractor installed security cameras at the intersection of Main Street and Columbus Drive. Uh, the design specced out that the uh, fiber line to connect the cameras into the city system would be done by others at a later date. Um, this contract is to include that work. Um, it includes uh, installing a fiber optics line in existing conduit. Uh, to the adjacent public safety facility, um, the police station along Columbus Drive. Uh, the work would also include uh, some sidewalk removal and replace and um, a steel conduit which connects two handholes at the intersection of Alder Street and Columbus Drive. The uh, total amount for this uh, change order is $7,413, which um, after reviewing the um, project that just occurred along Columbus Drive, the signalization project, the uh, amount for the fiber optics line is um, just in line with the um, bids for that project. So the cost is pretty accurate. Um, and so I'm just here looking for approval. Yeah, I am familiar with the project. Um, and definitely we need uh, this work. and. Uh, we we are under budget in the project, so I don't I don't see any problem with with uh, accept uh, this this change order. Well, then I'll make a motion that we accept the change order. Second. Roll call. Charles Pucura. Thank you. Jezra Rodriguez. Yes. I didn't say yes, but I will now. <laughs> we have a contract here for Mr. Allegretti. However. Uh, we need to take a better look at it, so I'm going to hold this off till the next meeting. I'm going to table it. So, that concludes our new business. Anybody here from the police department? I know there's somebody here from the building department. Good morning. Uh, Wiener Guzman, Building Department. Um, just going to provide you uh, status reports on these properties. 3801 Pulaski, emergency demolition completed on November 16th. 
uh, emergency order to demolish recorded with the county on 11-17. Uh, we are pursuing collection of costs incurred for the services rendered by the city to demolish this building. 4907 Alexander, uh, this property was a scene of a fire which occurred on October 31st. It was ordered sealed by the building department. Uh, we will be pursuing collection of costs incurred for the services rendered by the city to seal this building. 4901 Bearing, police department requested an emergency board up on November 11th. Uh, building department contacted the owner and the property owner has sealed the building. Uh, 3846 Euclid, this property was a scene of a fire which occurred on October 30th. It was ordered sealed by the building department. Uh, we will be pursuing collection of costs incurred for the services rendered by the city to seal this building. 3902 Hemlock, uh, board up requested by Department of Code Enforcement. Uh, building department has since made contact with the owner and the property is in compliance. 3803 Pulaski, a work order uh, was issued to Central Services on November 10th by the building department to seal the building. Property was sealed the next day by Central Services and we will be pursuing collection of costs incurred for the services rendered by the city to seal the building. Um, this completes my report. So when you're uh, in contact with the owner, is there any talk of them paying at that point? The no, actually, we're, what we're doing, we're trying to um, communicate with the owner prior to us uh, pursuing uh, or uh, sealing the building. So we're trying to ha give them an opportunity to seal it themselves. If we cannot make uh, contact with the owner, what, what we're doing is um, we'll, we'll go ahead and issue a work order and then we'll uh, pursue collection. Because in some cases they pull permits and we have contact information. We contact the water department. They may have contact information. So we, we, um, we exhaust all our means to contact the owner before we issue a work order. Okay. When will we accept the building department's report? Second. Roll call. Charles Pacurro. Yes. Thank you. Jezro Rodriguez. Yes. We have a weights and measure report here. I'm going to table it because I know I don't see the weights and measure man here to tell me what he's done. That concludes the business. Anybody in the audience wish to address the board? Anybody want to make comments to the board? Our next meeting will be Wednesday, November the, I beg your pardon, December the 8th, 2010, 10 a.m. in the morning. Make a motion we adjourn. Second. Roll call. Charles Pucurl? Yes. Jezro Rodriguez? Yes. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>